Octoritas is a Latin word which is the origin of English. Authority. While historically its use in English was restricted to discussions of the political history of Rome, the beginning of phenomenological philosophy in the 20th century expanded the use of the word. In ancient Rome, octoritas referred to the general level of prestige a person had in Roman society, and, as a consequence, his clout, influence, and ability to rally support around his will. Octoritas was not merely political, however, it had a numinous content and symbolized the mysterious power of command of heroic Roman figures. Noble women could also achieve a degree of octoritas. For example, the wives, sisters, and mothers of the Julio-Claudians had immense influence on society, the masses, and the political apparatus. Their octoritas was exercised less overtly than their male counterparts due to Roman societal norms, but they were powerful nonetheless. Etymology and origin According to French linguist Émile Benveniste, octor which also gives us English, author, is derived from Latin agio, to augment, to enlarge, to enrich. The octor is, is key augit, the one who augments the act or the juridical situation of another, octor in the sense of, author, comes from octor as founder or, one might say, planter cultivator. Similarly, octoritas refers to rightful ownership, based on one's having produced, or homesteaded the article of property in question, more in the sense of sponsored, or acquired, than manufactured. This octoritas would, for example, persist through an usucapio of ill-gotten or abandoned property. Topic. Political meaning in ancient Rome Politically, Octoritas was connected to the Roman Senate's authority Octoritas Patrum, not to be confused with potestas or imperium power, which were held by the magistrates or the people. In this context, Octoritas could be defined as the juridical power to authorize some other act. The 19th-century classicist Theodor Mommsen describes the force of Octoritas as more than advice and less than command, an advice which one may not safely ignore. Cicero says of power and authority, Cum potestas in populo octoritas in senatu sit. While power resides in the people, authority rests with the senate. In the private domain, those under tutelage, guardianship, such as women and minors, were similarly obliged to seek the sanction of their tutors, protectors, for certain actions. Thus, octoritas characterizes the octor, the pater familias authorizes, that is, validates and legitimates, his son's wedding in prostate. In this way, octoritas might function as a kind of passive counsel, much as, for example, a scholarly authority. Topic: <inaudible> Octoritas Principes. After the fall of the Republic, during the days of the Roman Empire, the emperor had the title of princeps, first citizen of Rome and held the Octoritas Principes, the supreme moral authority, in conjunction with the Imperium and Potestas, the military, judiciary and administrative powers. <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages The notion of Octoritas was often invoked by the papacy during the Middle Ages, in order to secure the temporal power of the Pope. Innocent III most famously invoked Octoritas in order to depose kings and emperors and to try to establish a papal theocracy. <laughs> Hannah Arendt Hannah Arendt considered Octoritas a reference to founding acts as the source of political authority in ancient Rome. She took foundation to include, as Agio suggests, the continuous conservation and increase of principles handed down from the beginning. See also Pietas. According to Arendt, this source of authority was rediscovered in the course of the 18th century American Revolution see United States of America under founding fathers, as an alternative to an intervening Western tradition of absolutism, claiming absolute authority, as from God see divine right of kings, and later from nature, reason, history, and even, as in the French Revolution, revolution itself see la terror. 
Arendt views a crisis of authority as common to both the American and French revolutions, and the response to that crisis a key factor in the relative success of the former and failure of the latter. Arendt further considered the sense of octor and octoritas in various Latin idioms, and the fact that octor was used in contradistinction to, and at least by Pliny, held in higher esteem than artifices, the artisans to whom it might fall to merely build up or implement the author founder's vision and design. Topic. See also Authoritarianism Authority Constitution of the Roman Republic Dinitas Roman concept Gravitas Mana Mund law Pietas Potestas Roman law Topic References and sources References Sources Cicero, De Legibus, 1st century BC Theodor Mommsen, Ramisches Staatsrecht, Vol. 3, Chapter 2, 1887 William Smith, A Dictionary of Greek and Roman Antiquities, 1875, 1890 editions Alvaro Dors, Derecho Privado Romano 10 ed. Yunsa, 2004 Rafael Domingo Ossel, Octoritas, Ariel, 1999